good slider. He's really good slider back there. Nope. You can maybe put that on it. You're not going to do much damage to it. And so looking for anything but his fastball is a self-defeating prophecy. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 38, and verse 38, and it reads, a drought, a drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graving images that they are mad upon their idols. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to you, I came out there. And this is a news article from uh, RT.com. And about, uh, about the water droughts in the West Coast. Because I believe, you know, I did mention this not too long ago. Um, about uh, the elder over there in Sacramento. He was uh, mentioning this about a couple of months ago. Uh, I said about like a month ago. You know, California was in a state of emergency of a uh, water shortage. You know, water droughts. Droughts dried up areas in the West Coast. Utah well, got hit bad about like two weeks ago. Now you got this news article was saying um, water cuts coming as droughts hits the U.S. West Coast. It says Washington has ordered Arizona and Nevada to slash their water use. And I believe uh, I don't know if he's a I don't know if he's a mayor or governor of California. He had issue a, a, a extend the uh, water supply or something like that. Extend more water. I believe he was going to come up with a bill with that. But I'm not 100% confirm, confirm about that. But I, I believe he came up with that, came up with that, to sign a bill into law for uh, have more water in the West Coast. Cause after that uh, state of emergency that they had not too long ago, like I just mentioned, as the elder of a uh, Sacramento branch camp mentioned this, now we got a, this story right here, which is came just up just recently you know uh, you know due to the weather with the droughts now Washington has old order uh, Arizona Nevada to slash their water use due to the extreme drought conditions dried up in the uh, Colorado, Colorado River base basin it shows right here a man walks by a formerly sucking boat along the shorelines of Lake Meadow in Nevada on June the 2nd, 2022. Right, that was like two months ago. And I think that probably be around the same time when they had that state of emergency of uh, water shortages in California, in the California region over there on the west coast but uh continuing on with the reading with parts of the southwest suffering their worst drought condition in more than a millennium the federal government has ordered a reduction in colorado river water allotments to the state of arizona and nevada as well too the water cuts will begin in january and will hit Arizona, the hardest reducing uh, Colorado River allotment to 21% or 592,000 of acre feet in the U.S. Department of Interior 
DOA announcement on Tuesday, uh, Nevada faces up to 8% cut or 25,000 acre fits with water flows to the south of the U.S.-Mexican border will be reduced by 7% or 104,000 acre feet, California, which dries more than one third of the river's water won't see any cuts to the uh, 4.4 million acre feet of water that which annually the announcement comes one year after the federal government declares an apprehended water shortage in Lake Meadow in the lower Colorado River Basin per proletending supply cuts. Uh, the Colorado River Com Compact signed in 1922. Governor's Water Management Effect. Seven states. California, Arizona, Nevada, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Yep, just like I mentioned Utah. Yep, mentioned Utah. They had a little uh, uh, drought in Wyoming and Me uh, Mexico as well too. It says water levels in Lake Meadow, which was created when the Hoover Dam was built on the Nevada Arizona border to the dam of Colorado, Colorado River in 1930s are projected by January to fall to a record of 1,047 feet, meeting the DOA standard for a tier two shortage. The massive lake which helped supply water more than 25 million Americans was down to just 27% of its capability as of the last month compared to 37% a year ago. A study released early this year by uh, National Climate Change Journal, I mean, Journal found that the U.S. Southwest has suffered its driest 22-year period at least 1,200 years. The lake metal is fed feed by the Colorado River and its supplies are screened by overuse even under normal weather conditions. Arizona and Nevada ranks number two and three respectively amongst the fast growing in the United States. It says uh, every sector if every state has a responsibility to ensure that water is used with maximum efficiency uh, Tiana Trujillo assistant of US Secretary for Water and Science in order to avoid a catastrophic collapse of the Colorado River system and a future uncertainty of conflict water use in the basin must be reduced so yeah due to the uh, heavy uh because, you know, in the summertime, from all the way into June, all the way into now, you know, you've been having those record-breaking, especially in the month of uh, July and August as well, too. You've been having, like, these, uh, uh, you know, you've been having these uh, heavy water droughts. You know, the uh, lake shore has been dried up, especially, like I mentioned, places like Utah. Now you got Arizona and Nevada and the southwest region in the United States and all the way into the west coast as well, too. Been having these uh, droughts, and especially uh, Arizona and California, because, you know, those are like the driest places in the United States. And they've been due to, like, heavy uh, hot weathers throughout the whole month of July and throughout the month of August, too, and June. So, yeah, you've been having like two and a half months of uh, heavy, hot weather, and that's due to the droughts and, you know, with the water shortages and everything like that. And the uh, person of uh, Washington has ordered, you know, places like Arizona and Nevada to uh, reduce their water usage so they can save water, you know. 
So uh, that's why I brought out that scripture of Jeremiah uh, 58 and 30, I believe. Yeah, 58 and 30. No, 58 and 38. About the... Uh, you know droughts and, and I'm uh and I'm uh put out a definition of drought. Uh drought is a prolonged period of abnormal low rainfall lead to shortage of water. And it says drought. 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 It's a noun, a prolonged period of abnormal low rainfall leading to a shortage of water, the cause of the European recent droughts. Right, because you had the recent droughts over there in Europe as well, too. Because I believe uh, throughout the whole month of all, I mean, the whole month of July, they had those uh, record breaking uh, hot weathers, and due to the weather drought, and I believe. It was a lady, she was a farmer. I was seeing it on the uh one of the news reports that uh that covered her story when they had that uh heavy uh weather drought and record breaking histories of the uh hot weather that was in the month of July. And then she was uh saying um they you know, during her whole twenty uh, 20 some years of living she never experienced of heavy drought like this and then she said uh, potentially like in the near future five or seven years down the road she said she can only imagine how the drought can be you know because I believe she uh, she owned a farm and she was like a fourth generation farm owner or something like that the fourth or fifth generation of her family owned their farms and stuff like that over there in the UK. So, you know, that's why these uh, water droughts is, uh, you know, heating. These are uh, water droughts increasingly, I meant to say. Now, it was from the uh, Spain and all parts of Europe, Portugal, like uh, Spain, the islands over there in Spain, they had those uh, heavy wildfires and those droughts over there in in the UK and, and Britain and stuff like that over there. And they said they never witnessed this before. You know, they never witnessed having like a heavy drought and the hottest weather in, in uh, weather history, you know. And I'm going to uh, bring out this definition drought. again of a uh, drought. Drought, a prolonged period of abnormal lower rainfall leads to a shortage of water, the cause of Europe's recent droughts. Uh, similar drought, dry spell, uh, Arctic uh, dialect thirst. I ask for something to slack my drought. It says, what is a drought? A drought is a defined as a period of abnormal dry weather sufficiently prolonged for the lack of water to cause serious hydrological imbalance in the affected areas. And these are actually photos of uh, what an actual drought can look like, which a lot of people, you know, they know basically what a drought can look like. But, you know, just showing images for edification of the, uh, of the sit-down lesson. Human cause, a uh, human activity can help trigger the drought, including widespread cutting down of trees for fuel, the reduce of soil ability to hold water. Right, because I believe uh, Arizona, the representation of a person, made that announcement saying they uh, wanted places like Arizona and uh, California and Utah uh, wanted them to uh, balance the uses of the water you know because the droughts are increasing you know due to the high impact of uh, hot weather uh, so far this month of August and July as well too It says the types, types of drought, 
a meteorological drought, a sequence of droughts uh, occurring and impact commonly accept the droughts, socioeconomic drought, ideological drought, hydrastical drought, agricultural drought. So these are different types of drought. The in now this is a economy impact of a drought. Farmers may lose money if a drought destroys their crops. Right, same thing like I was mentioning about uh, the lady was mentioning about the droughts because she's a farm owner and it's been passed down the generations of her family over there in Great Britain uh, having these uh, heavy droughts and they mess up their uh, corpse crops. They farm crops as well too. So, you know, that's a prime example. It says farmers may lose money if a drought destroys their crops. If a farmer's water supply is too low, the farmers may have to spend more money or on agrarianish or drought or drill new wells. Ranchers may have to spend more money on feeding the waters for their animals. And you got characteristics of drought. A drought is a period of time when an area or region experiences below precipitation, the lack of acquainted precipitation, either rain or snow, can cause reduced soil, moisture, or groundwater, diminished stream flows, crop damage, and general water shortages. Yep. So it can due to the water shortages, the lack of rain, uh, shortage of water, or prolonged periods of abnormal weather, because that you know hot weather can cause a, a serious drought. You know. So with that, uh, I hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Aosha. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Grand Millstone, personal words, hopefully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, personal words, hopefully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, personal words, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout a and a ball, ball.